really hot in here because my air conditioner's off and I don't have my seat cushion. Butt cheeks are sweating. I don't think people realize how important it is to not have sweaty butt cheeks. Hey guys, Belle here. I wanted to take a few minutes to sit and talk about uh, some items that I've been using in my gaming life and in my work life as well to kind of ease the suffering of the carpal tunnel and a huge issue that's developed over the last two years, the, the lower back while sitting. Now, the purpose of this video is strict transparency, telling you guys what I've been using and the reasons why I've been using it and what it actually does. I wanna make sure that I disclose that I'm not a doctor, I don't even play one on TV, and I am not giving any medical advice here, just so, just so we're clear. But, so that you guys have a background, I have suffered from carpal tunnel in both wrists, though it's been predominantly more noticeable in my right as kind of time has progressed. Uh, and then I have a lower back issue, which I mean, gamers in general, or really anybody that sits at a desk typically has bad posture. So I think that that's just part for the course, but I've been searching for ways over at least the better part of the last two years to try to ease that. I went to a chiropractor, went to my doctor to try to find different ways to be able to do that. So I realized I needed to start where I'm at and that is how I'm sitting, what I'm using, am I using the best of the best? I started with one item that I wanted to uh, see if it could actually work after purchasing a lot. Disclosure, this desk drawer is full of various different things that you could use at the desk to that's supposed to make your life better. So for disclosure, I've tried a lot of things and I even have a compression glove that I actually use on my right wrist, especially for uh, raid nights or if I'm PVPing or whatever the case may be, because as it starts to progress through the evening of gaming, the wrist gets worse and it's not even a dull ache anymore. It's basically a throbbing pain. So let's get right into it and let's talk about what I wanted to highlight. About two months ago, I purchased a Kensington. It's actually a wrist rest for a mouse or trackpad, like a slim mouse trackpad type of rest. What I was trying to solve is I wanted to keep my wrist flat. Now, the problem with being able to do that, you can't really use like a carpal tunnel brace because that metal brace hinders you being able to fully control your mouse. And the mouse pads that have the pad kind of built in that your wrist is supposed to set on, they have several different versions and I have about six different ones from beanbag to uh, memory foam to all kinds, the problem that I found is the height of the pad doesn't necessarily feel natural um, in the gaming process. And it kind of feels like I'm boxed in, like my wrist is just kind of stuck in that general kind of spot. So I knew that I needed something thin. And that's where this guy came in. I thought, here's something that isn't necessarily for the mouse itself. But the design is exactly what I was looking for. I want it to be just enough to where my wrist can rest on it. I don't want to. I don't want to sweat or feel any uh, texture or anything like that because you don't want texture rubbing on your wrist. So I bought this guy and I used this guy for a month before I checked out the other stuff to continue to solve my problems. And I got to tell you guys, this little guy right here probably completely changed my life when it comes to the way that I approach using the mouse. I also tried one of those cradles. I had a cradle that attached to my desk where kind of my arm would sit. I've tried my arm all the way up the desk. There's just a lot of things that don't feel good. So this right here, 150%. If you have my problem, I recommend going and picking one up. They're inexpensive. It's quality made. It's good. It's comfortable. It's got like a cool feel to it and your wrist just kind of sits exactly where it needs to sit. And it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Small sidebar, just something for you guys to note. I actually used uh, the Kensington wrist rest before we actually picked them up as a sponsor. So my approach of this was, and is still pre-sponsorship, just so that you guys know what you're working with and you know that this was actually a review based off usage and how I feel about it versus uh, feeling like it is a odd, weird, paid advertisement type thing because monies weren't exchanged, guys. No tacos either. Now, the second problem that I was trying to solve is kind of the way that I sit at the desk and the way, you know, my fingers move. 
I picked up this guy and this is actually a wrist rest for, it's made specifically for mechanical and gaming keyboards because they're different. Uh, often the keys are raised, like there's a lot of things that are different when it comes to those type of keyboards. I didn't want to have to purchase a keyboard that was specific to my issue because I wanna be able to use what I like to use in, in my peripherals. So it was important that I grab this. It's the same material as the wrist rest for the trackpad. It's like a gel inside. It's very cool to the touch. It's smooth to the touch. No weird textural issues. Um, I've had this probably just, well, probably over a month because I got the trackpad a month before that. The comfort and the way that it raises your wrist is pretty amazing. It doesn't take up a lot of space on the desk. It was, again, relatively inexpensive and it functions as it should. I didn't have to make it fit around or under my keyboard or, you know, at the bottom. It just fit the way that it was intended. It feels good. It doesn't feel like it's, it's chunky or blocking me in. When it comes to spending your money on things, I got to tell you that this was a pretty great idea. I won't regret it whatsoever. These next two items, which are the final two items, are going to, um, I want to talk about kind of how uh, it's worked in terms of easing stress on my lower back. I have a lot of lower back issues, mostly because I'm pretty much a hunchback because I don't like to have to sit up. Gaming chairs, they're great, except you don't wanna have to spend a ton of money on a gaming chair if you like your chair or if you are happy with what you have. So instead I sought to add to my already preferred sitting situation just to make things better. So enter in this beautiful, it's called the SmartFit Conform Backrest. It's pretty similar to chairs that come with it already, right? Especially like the executive chairs. I didn't want to have to use that type of chair. I wanted to just put something in there that worked. I also have a few concerns when it comes to things that go for the lower lumbar support um, or even the mid, you know, kind of your mid back section here. I wanted something that was fluid because I don't, again, I don't wanna feel caged in in my chair. I don't wanna have to spend 10 minutes adjusting the perfect position in my chair only to have to get up and go do something and then find out I have to readjust. This essentially kind of solved that problem and I'm gonna tell you why. So in addition to this breathable mesh kind of fabric that you can actually pull off both sides and it's washable, which is great because nobody likes germs or dirty. It also has adjustments on the back so if you're taller um, or whatever the case may be, it allows for you to kind of fit it to your body. Stretches over the chair, does all the things. You can pull the straps in so that it sits tightly. So unfortunately, I'm not using it because I needed it for the video, but the way that I basically put this is it kind of hugs and curves the inside of your lower back. And this, these sides here, they kind of basically like wrap around you. Now, what I liked about it is how I was able to move and it moved with me. And I know that sounds really weird, but if you see here, these two, there's these springs. And inside these springs, basically what they do is it just allows it to move in several different directions so that as you move, this thing kind of moves with your body. And then when you get up, it's basically right back in place. This is very well made. The quality is really good. The plastic, it's a very hard plastic. Uh, for the back and I got to tell you it does put me kind of in this upright position that should be our natural position as humans but isn't because we're gamers and we slouch I don't even know how to express the way that I feel when I'm done at the end of the day I don't feel like my whole body's kind of been through the ringer after you know a five or six hour session on the computer for gaming or even for work best purchase. You won't be sorry. And I got to tell you, I did not, I knew Kensington made good stuff, but this right here, although there's many others like it, I was really impressed. And I've been through two other versions of this, by the way, just so that you guys know kind of what I've been going through. Now let's talk about the final thing, which is my favorite thing in all of the land. Now, the reason this is my favorite thing in all of the land is this particular problem that I was attempting to solve is twofold. I podcast and I sit at the computer for long amounts and sometimes it gets hot in here. 
have an air conditioner, which I turn off during the show because then everybody complains they can hear it. So I just turn it off because the air conditioner is right here. What happens, guys, is stuff people don't want to talk about. Sometimes you have sweaty butt cheeks. I've gone so far as to put a fan and point it directly up here so it goes under my shorts and I don't have that problem. Again, there's the sound and that's not really a viable solution. Enter in this beautiful, it's actually called a cool gel seat cushion. Now I've used another version of this. Um, I found that it didn't really stand up through the test of time, wasn't really super quality made. The cover actually didn't pop off for me to be able to wash it, which I found a little insane. Now this thing right here has a handle, which is great because I do work downstairs sometimes. So this guy goes with me, I actually use it at the kitchen table. You can see kind of like the way that it kind of bumps. It's intended to conform with your body. It sits in place, so when you set it, it sits where you need it to be because the surface is like a, it's basically a no slide type of surface, you know, so it doesn't slide. I did have a few issues kind of finding the correct positioning to where it felt normal and natural. That did take a little bit of tweaks just for full disclosure, um, but I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the seat cushions fault. I think it's my own. The fabric that's on top, again, this whole cover pops off and is washable. Fabric, super breathable. Because it's smooth, there isn't really like a texture issue, but it isn't so smooth that you kind of slide out. Uh, the cloth is breathable. It's, it's actually really great. But that's not even the most important reason that this is absolutely the most favorite thing in the world to me. Outside of the memory foam, which it's memory foam. Guys, we know what memory foam is. It's great. I have a memory foam mattress with a cool gel layer to keep me cool because I'm a hot sleeper. Fantastic. This has basically a layer of this cool gel. Now, even just touching it right here, <laughs> that sounded weird. Even just touching it right here, like you could feel it isn't cold. So you're not getting like, it's not like sitting on a popsicle, but it's, it's like a soft, cool breeze on a warm summer day. If I had to say for you to spend money on anything that isn't tacos, I would say that this guy needs to be picked up ASAP and immediately, because you can pretty much use it anywhere. But in the gaming aspect, like Kensington really stepped outside of the box here and I can't talk about this guy enough. I really can't. In fact, I loved this concept so much that I purchased a bed that's similar in nature. Uh, in the way that it functions with the memory foam and the gel. We're talking about comfort. We're talking about spending your money effectively. I'm not really about lighting my money on fire. And it's really, really hard to tell what could work because everybody is so vastly different, which is why I wanted to put these products to the test. Not because I wanted to try to make you guys buy something that you don't need, but really because I wanted to give an accurate depiction of some of the products that we stand behind as, as an organization. You can purchase these products, test these products out, give them a spin, see if it does something that you're looking for, see if it eases a pain. This isn't going to cure any of your physical ailments from sitting on a computer. That's not their design. Their design is to ease that load and to make it bearable and to make it less. Now, one final thought on this before uh, I close this out is this glove I purchased four or five months ago. I actually have a second one that I use on my left wrist, though I don't need it as much for my left wrist. I haven't had to actually use this since I purchased this little guy, which is saying a lot because I, this was a daily use thing. I 100% recommend giving this stuff a try if you have some of the same issues I do. To that end, if you have any questions about anything here, and you are curious about anything, I urge you to comment on the video. I'll do my best to make sure that I give the time to read them if you guys have any questions. The links to the stuff will be below in the description. There's tons of stuff that Kensington makes. They've been around for a really long time. I think maybe people are just now kind of noticing, you know, that they do make a ton of really good things, but guys, I just need you to check it out. Give it a test run for yourself. See if it helps you and makes things better. That about wraps it up, guys. If you are new to Method, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest Method videos. If you liked this video review, give it a thumbs up. Guys, I deserve a thumbs up. I put in good work here. I gave you good information. Little thumbs up, just a little thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Thanks so much for watching.